Lorist Jegnaborian, Armenian, Persian, born October 13, 1937, is an Iranian-Armenian composer and conductor. He is one of the most celebrated cultural figures in Armenia, Iran, and Austria. As one of the leading conductors of his generation, he has led international orchestras throughout the world, in Austria, UK, United States Canada, Hungary, Copenhagen, Iran, Finland, USSR, Armenia, Thailand, Hong Kong, South Africa, Denmark, and Israel. As a composer Tchik Navorian has written six operas, five symphonies, choral works, among them God is Love, The Life of Christ, The Oratorio Book of Revelation, and a requiem, chamber music, ballet music, piano, and vocal works, concerti for piano, violin, guitar, cello, and pipa, Chinese lute, as well as music for documentary and feature films. His compositions have been performed by major orchestras, including the London Symphony Orchestra, London Philharmonic Orchestra, Halle Orchestra, Philharmonic Orchestra Helsinki, American Symphony Orchestra in New York, Tehran Symphony Orchestra, Johannesburg Symphony Orchestra, Haifa Symphony Orchestra, the Mexico Symphony Orchestra, London Percussion Virtuosi, Strasbourg Percussion Ensemble and English Chamber Orchestra. He has made some 100 recordings with RCA, Philips, EMI, ASV, and others. His son, Emanuel Tjeknavorian is an Armenian-Austrian violinist and conductor. Born in Borodjard, Iran in 1937 to immigrant Armenian parents, Tjeknavorian's early life was succinctly chronicled in the London magazine Gramophone in 1976. His father came from Eastern Armenia and his mother had fled from Western Armenia during the 1915 Armenian Genocide. Influenced by three cultures, Armenian, Iranian and Western he benefited from a cosmopolitan upbringing. His grandfather, a doctor, liked to play the violin and as a boy Loris enjoyed listening to professional string players, Russian, Armenian, or Polish immigrants, in local cafes. Although not themselves musical, his parents wanted all three children, one boy, two girls, to play musical instruments. Eight-year-old Loris was given a violin. Despite the lack of a teacher, the boy began to study in earnest, before long he had composed a number of piano pieces, with no formal instruction whatsoever. At 16 he formed a four-part choir and organized and conducted his own orchestra in Tehran. A year later he was ready to leave for the Vienna Academy of Music as a violin and composition student. While there, he wrote a violin concerto, which received the ultimate endorsement from his teacher, Hans Joachim Dredvo, who was the soloist in the work's premiere, Tjek Navorian graduated with honors. Gramophone, November 1976. Shortly after his graduation, the Austrian music publisher Doblinger published four of his piano compositions as well as his ballet Fantastique for three pianos, Celeste, and percussion in Vienna. Following this fruitful period of education, Tjek Navorian went back to Iran in 1961, where he taught music theory at the Tehran Conservatory of Music. At the same time, he was appointed director of Tehran's music archives and put in charge of collecting and researching traditional and modern Iranian folk music and instruments. He mounted the first archives exhibition to great success and began work on an opera based on the epic poem of Rostam and Sarab. Tjek Navorian returned to Austria in 1963 to further his studies in Salzburg at the Mozarteum. There, he met the renowned composer Karl Orff, who was to become the young musician's mentor and enthusiastic supporter. On hearing Tchek Navorian play sections of his opera Rostam and Sarab, Orff offered him a full one-year scholarship to stay in Salzburg to complete the first draft of the opera. In addition, Orff commissioned Tchek Navorian to compose piano music based on Armenian music for the Schulwerk, Orff's system for teaching music. Tchek Navorian composed over 130 short pieces for beginning to advanced students. These are collected in two volumes called Kaleidoscope for Piano portions of which were also published by Shadis Builder A.U.S. Armenia, Pictures from Armenia. Tjek Navorian moved to the United States in 1965, where he began to study conducting at the University of Michigan. From 1966 to 1967 he was appointed composer-in-residence at Concordia College in Moorhead, Minnesota, and from 1966 to 1970 head of the instrumental and opera departments at Moorhead University in Minnesota. In 1970, the Cultural Ministry of Iran offered Tjek Navorian the positions of composer-in-residence and principal conductor at the Radaki Opera House in Tehran. While there he conducted a number of major operas, including his own parties in Parisa. 
Jack Navorian's extensive study of the technical aspects of traditional Iranian instruments culminated with the composition of the dance drama Simorg, the first polyphonic composition scored entirely for Iranian instruments and based on themes from Zoroastrian myth and Persian mystical poetry. Following sold-out performances of the ballet in Tehran, the suite from Simorg was recorded and released as an LP in London by Unicorn in 1975 to great critical acclaim. Writing about his unique compositional style, Gramophone praised the piece as strangely beautiful. In Tehran, Czech Navorian's talents found huge demand, and he soon became the leading composer of film music in Iran, scoring some 30 scores for documentaries and short and popular feature films, many of them classics of pre revolutionary Iranian cinema. Among them was the award winning film Bitta, starring Iranian singing and acting legend Gugush, released in 1972. That same year, Czech Navorian received the Homa Yun Order and Medal for Persepolis his score for the spectacular Sunny T. Lunier show at the ancient Persian capital. The audience consisted of dignitaries and heads of state from around the world that had gathered in Iran for the 2500th anniversary of the Persian Empire. The show was a highlight of the unprecedented event, and was followed by the release of the score by Phillips. In 1975 Tjek Naborian relocated to London where he signed an exclusive conducting contract with the RCA Recording Company. His first release was the hugely acclaimed recording of Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 6, Pathetique, with the LSO, hailed in gramophone as bold and exciting and by RCA as an astounding performance of electrifying passion and nobility. Jack Navorian's sudden impact on the international music scene in London created a furor, with RCA running two-page advertisement in gramophone proclaiming him the greatest conductor of his generation. Attended by talk of the town performances at venues such as the Royal Festival Hall, Jack Naborian followed this early success with a series of similarly acclaimed recordings with the London Symphony Orchestra, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and the London Philharmonic Orchestra, including groundbreaking interpretations of Sibelius, Stravinsky, Shostakovich, Dvorak, and Borodin. Jack Naborian's also quickly established himself as the world's foremost interpreter of the symphonic music of Aram Kachaturian. His recording of the complete score of the ballet de Yana, the first and only of its kind, was hailed by the London critics as first class and the most distinguished of the RCA recordings made by Loris Cechnaborian, Gramophone, April 1977 and June 1983. In 1978 Cechnaborian organized Music Armenia, described in Gramophone as the first Armenian festival on foreign soil. During the day there were symposiums, conferences, and comparative studies of Armenian music, and in the evening, concerts presenting Armenian artists and composers. Speaking to the London magazine, Tjek Naborian explained, being Christian, the first thing the Armenians did was to translate the Bible as early as the 4th century AD. Then they started writing music in the 5th century. As soon as the alphabet was created, the chants started to be written down in old nooms. By the 18th century they could no longer decipher these nooms, so the musicians got together and renotated all the different chants. When I was studying in Vienna I discovered the Armenian monastery there and found a wealth of these chants. I became so involved in searching through all the manuscripts, it took me 15 years, and I found seven different traditions amounting to something like 30,000 melodies, it was far removed from my original idea of having the melodies just for my own compositional use, and I realized that it was of immense interest to musicologists, Gramophone, May 1979. For his long and dedicated work, Jack Navorian was awarded the Order of Gregory the Illuminator by the late Catholicos Vizginaio. Taking some of the medieval chants he had rediscovered, Tjek Naborian composed the vocal work Life of Christ, first performed during the festival at the Queen Elizabeth Hall by the Ambrosian singers. Many of Tjek Naborian's most important compositions were written in this fruitful and personally difficult 10-year period culminating with, and immediately following, the Iranian Revolution in 1979. Foremost among his works during this time are his Second Symphony, Credo, and the Oratorio The Book of Revelations, the second and third parts respectively of his trilogy on the Armenian Genocide begun with his groundbreaking first symphony, Requiem for the Massacred, scored for trumpet and percussion and released in London by Unicorn in 1976. Another key work towards the end of this period was his Ballet Othello, commissioned by the Northern Ballet Company and premiered in London in 1985 with Princess Anne in attendance. The recording of the piece released that year on EMI with the London Symphony Orchestra was praised by Gramophone as enormously effective, Gramophone, November 1985. Soon after settling in New York City in 1986, 
Jack Navorian's destiny was diverted by the devastating Armenian earthquake of December 1988. In response, Jack Navorian organized a benefit concert at Carnegie Hall to raise relief funds for the victims. The concert featured Placido Domingo, Mstislav Rostropovich, Alexander Chorats, and stars of the New York Metropolitan Opera, including Narella Freni, Frederica von Stade, Samuel Remy, and Elena Hodrastsova. Ticket sales for the event raised $500,000 that was sent to Armenia, where Tjek Naborian relocated a few months later, having been appointed principal conductor and artistic director of the Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra, APO, in Yerevan. For Tjek Naborian, the most important task was rebuilding the cultural life of Junri, then Leninakan, Armenia's second-largest city, which had been devastated by the earthquake. In 1991 Tjek Navorian announced his intention to go on a pilgrimage walk from Yerevan to Junri in order to raise funds for rebuilding efforts. Thousands of people joined him along the way and a huge percentage of the Armenian population donated money for the cause. 15 million rubles, worth around $20 million at the time, were collected nationwide. Unfortunately, several months later the Soviet ruble was devalued and Tjek Navorian was compelled to seek additional money from private sources. Tjek Navorian took over the huge Communist Party headquarters, which had been destroyed, and in seven years transformed it into the first Academy of Music and Arts in Jewelry. During this time, his fundraising led to the founding of a symphony orchestra, wind ensemble, choir, and dance ensemble, the renovation of the theater and restarting of the Jewelry TV station, and purchasing musical instruments for the orchestra and band, whose instruments had all been destroyed in the earthquake, as well as ten grand pianos for the Arts and Music Academy. Tjek Navorian was also instrumental in the 1991 campaign for Armenian independence. Through his tours in various Armenian cities and an all-night televised performance on national television two days before the measure passed on September 21, 1991, Tjek Navorian managed to increase the yes vote for independence from 30 to 96 percenter. Given the heated controversy and popular passion surrounding the question of independence, the peaceful nature of the victory was unique reached by Tjek Navorian through the power of music and a positive cultural message. Following independence, Tjek Navorian served on the committee to reinstate the pre-communist Armenian flag and the national coat of arms. He was especially influential in the adoption of the national anthem, Merhernik, Our Fatherland, for which he rewrote the words for the first stanza. Tjek Navorian also renamed the two major avenues of Yerevan during last year of the Soviet period, from Lenin and Red Army to Mesrop Mashtots creator of the Armenian alphabet in 451, and Gregory the Illuminator, founder of the Armenian Church in 301 AD, respectively. The renaming reflected his philosophy of faith and culture as the twin foundations upon which the Armenian nation must be rebuilt. During the crippling energy blockade between 1992 and 1995, a result of the Karabakh War, the capital was gripped by shortages of food, water, heat, and electricity. Faithful to his vow that the doors of culture must never be closed, Tjek Naborian maintained weekly concerts at this time, including a regular series of spiritual music concerts every Saturday in anticipation of the 1700th anniversary of Christianity in Armenia. Organizing transportation for the musicians and securing their daily needs, installing power generators and electric heaters and ensuring constant power supply in the building, Tjek Naborian turned the Aram Kachaturian Hall into a sanctuary of culture and faith, and was instrumental in lifting the spirits of the thousands who packed the hall each week. This phenomenon was memorialized by numerous eyewitnesses of the time, including former Russian ambassador Vladimir Stupishin, who wrote at length about Tjek Navorian's activities in his memoirs. During his 11-year collaboration with the APO, his recordings with the orchestra for ORF, the Austrian radio and television station, and ASV, an English recording company, achieved worldwide recognition. They frequently toured Europe, the United States, Canada, Iran, and Lebanon. For three successive years, from 1991 to 1993, the APO was the resident orchestra in the ORF benefit program Lichtens Dunkel in Vienna. In 2000, Tjek Naborian resigned from the APO in order to devote more time to composing. During this period he also conducted the Vienna Symphony Orchestra and performed at the San Francisco Opera House the Contemporary Music Festival and at the Vienna Music Festival in Hong Kong and Bangkok. He conducted the Austrian premiere of his opera Rostam and Sorum at the Fest Spiegelhaus in St. Polten. From 2009 to the present Tjek Navorian has continued to devote his time to composing, as well as painting and writing short stories. Among his most recent works are the operas Zahak, 
libretto based on Ferdowsi Shahnameh, and Molana and Shamsi Tabriz, libretto based on the poetry of Rumi, as well as the chamber opera The Final Hour of Sadek Hidayat, libretto based on The Blind Owl and other works by the Iranian writer Sadek Hidayat. Other works include his second concerto for violin and chamber orchestra, a work for solo piano titled 1915, and two major symphonic suites, King Cyrus, about the ancient Persian king, and Takti, dedicated to the celebrated Iranian wrestler. Tajak Navorian's paintings were exhibited at the Gallery Shireen in Tehran, Gallery Maryam Sihaun in Los Angeles, and twice at the House of the Artists in Tehran. His series of short stories, written in English, will be published in the near future. Doubt on December 20, 2008, Tajak Navorian recorded Hafez Nazari's The Night of Angel, yet to be released, with the London Symphony Orchestra. Tajak Navorian's recent performances include benefit concerts in Tehran and Los Angeles for the organization Mahak on behalf of children with cancer, a series of concerts with the Armenian Chamber Orchestra at the Taylor Vadat Hall in Tehran, a performance of his Ararat Suite with the Sacramento Symphony, and the world premiere of his King Cyrus Symphonic Suite with the San Francisco Philharmonic Orchestra in August 2013. In 2011 the Iranian Barbat Recording Company issued a 20-CD box set of Jerk Navorian's major works, symphonies, choral works, ballet, chamber music, operas, etc., plus two DVDs of his opera Rostam and Sarab. During an interview on the occasion of his 81st birthday, Tajek Navorian said to the journalist Averna, Iran is my homeland. My ancestors have lived in this land. I've been born in Iran and will be buried here. I'm emotionally and culturally attached to every inch of this country and feel at home and nowhere except for Iran. In 1989, Tchek Navarian was appointed principal conductor and artistic director of the Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra, APO. During his 11 years collaboration with the APO, his recordings for ORF, the Austrian radio and television station, and ASV, an English recording company, achieved worldwide recognition. They frequently toured Europe, the United States, Canada, Iran, and Lebanon. In three successive years, from 1991 to 1993, the APO was the resident orchestra in the ORF benefit program Lichten's Dunkel, Light into the Darkness, in Vienna. However, in 2000, Tjek Navarian resigned from this position in order to be able to devote more time to composing and conducting other orchestras. Top Art Medal, June 20, 2002 In a ceremony in Vadat Hall, awarded Iran's highest performing arts medal by Minister of Culture in Jamii. Two Golden Harp Awards for Highest Artistic Achievement in the 15th and 16th Far Music Festival in Tehran. Honorary Professor, Commodus Conservatory, Yerevan. For services to church music, first recipient of the Cultural Order of St. Mesrop Mashtots, conferred by Vaskanai, Supreme Catholicos of all Armenians. Government Order for Services Supporting Earthquake Recovery, from Prime Minister Oskanian of the Armenian SSR. Koronazi Medal for Cultural Services to Armenia Golden Cross of the Romanian Church BBC Music Magazine Top 1000 CDs Guide Gold Medal from University of Armenia Macedonian Silver Orb, conferred by Bishop Bartholomeus I of Constantinople, Ecumenical Patriarch of the Eastern Orthodox Churches EMG Art of Record Buying Recommendation EMG Golden Art of Record Buying Recommendation Gramophone Classical Good CD Guide Gramophone Critics' Choice Gramophone Editor's Choice Gramophone Recommended Recording Hi-Fi World Record of the Month High Fidelity Critics' Choice Penguin Guide to Compact Discs Outstanding Performance and Recording Records and Recording Pick of the Month, Pick of the Year Homi Yoon Order and Medal for Composition of Sun E.T. Lunier Persepolis 2500 Gold in Conducting Baden for Artistic Achievement from the Armenian Philharmonic Choir. Golden Cultural Medal from the Armenian Ministry of Culture. 1983, Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra and Conductor Lorist Cech Navorian, tours in Austria, Germany, Greece, Arm TV 108 Minutes Director Cameraman Levon Mukherjee and the script of film Hrachuhai Taturian. 1991, Pilgrimage to Jewelry. 1998, Armenian Philharmonic in Baalbek, Conductor Lorist Jake Navorian, Director Levon Mukherjian. 2000, Rose Tam and Sarab, Opera Statement in Iran, Tehran, Director Cameraman Levon Mukherjian.